welcome. Today I wanted to do a video about my Harry Potter 20th edition 20th anniversary books. I think they are really cool, they're like my new favorite thing, so I just wanted to share it with my channel. If you're new here, I've concluded that my channel is just about everything that I love and doing different vlogs. So I have the first three books with me. This is the first one, so this one is Philosopher's Stone, and I love the details of these. I'll zoom in for you. I love how the side are the house colors. The front covers are so detailed. And on the inside, on the inside you get like an overview of uh, Gryffindor and then a little summary. And then there is a map of Hogwarts. So there's Hogwarts, the Quidditch Stadium, and Hogsmeade down at the bottom. And I really like how the chapters have the little stars on the top. I know in the original books they have little pictures but i really like how they do the stars at the top and they're a lot smaller than the original books i think i have one of them uh, but i was surprised when it came and it was really lightweight and i honestly thought the text inside was going to be tiny but it's really not it's quite easy to read and then this is the back of the first book they have a little quiz um, a hogwarts quiz just like how much do you know i guess um, and then it just talks about the sorting. I'm not going to read any of it in case you want to buy the books yourself. I don't want to give it away because it is really fun to read. And then it says memorable Gryffindor students. And it talks about Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Dumbledore. And then they have the head of Gryffindor house. And then it has nearly headless Nick on the back. My Nanan so kindly gave me gifted me these books um, so I do have the first three and the other few are on my Christmas list uh, for Father Christmas to get me <laughs> so I got this one first like I said I was surprised that it was so tiny but it's honestly not I think it's the perfect size maybe the other ones were just a bit too big <laughs> so this is perfect not that heavy obviously it's like the smallest one in the collection because they just get bigger and bigger and the next one is the Chamber of Secrets and this one I was so surprised when I got it because it's so different from the first one the red is so nice so it goes black red black red you know with each book but it looks like velvet in real life like it looks like it would be it's so soft to touch and I love how they did the gold and they still have this on the side and it's Chamber of Secrets so they have the snake on the front and it's just so pretty i don't know i love how they did the gold i wish they did it with the first one but there's the first two they all have the uh, sparkles at the top and then in the front it doesn't have as much it just has a little bit about gryffindor and then it has the hogwarts map but at the back it has a picture of the gryffindor common room which is so nice it's so detailed and fun to look at and then it talks about the house elves in the back of this one and that's really it for this it has like a q a with the uh, person who did the illustrations for the books so it's really interesting but i just think this is so pretty with the gold and how red it is and like red is like probably my least favorite color but i think this looks really nice and then this is the last one. Now, I can't decide if Prisoner of Azkaban or the Chamber of Secrets, like which one looks like my favorite. They're both so amazing. But I was leaning towards this one, um, probably because it's like also one of my favorite books. Again, I love all the gold on it. And they have the werewolf with the moon on the front. Same thing on the side and on the back, they all have uh, the symbol. It just looks so good to add to the collection, your collection. On the front, they're talking about Gryffindor again. Each one has an introduction, but they're actually all different. I was just comparing the different introductions and they are all different things. This one has the Hogwarts castle as well. And in the back of this one, it talks about the Patronus and that's really it. It just has a, um, drawing of Hermione in the back which is really sweet <laughs> that's it to this one I haven't noticed anything different I just think they are so beautiful they look so nice I wish that they did the gold on the first book as well it's still really nice but the gold is such a nice touch but that's what makes them different I feel like the first one is just so different to the others because on the back they have um, nearly headless Nick and then on the other two they just have the emblem emblem these are obviously the hardback uh, covers I don't really like the soft covers because when you open them they just like get stuck open and I don't think that 
the sixth and seventh books are out in this edition yet i don't remember exactly because these ones i found on amazon i only saw books one through five on amazon i just i think the sixth one is out but it might not be on amazon yet they are a lot smaller than the original books but i honestly like it a lot more because you're not sacrificing the print on the inside like it's still very easy to read i don't know i just wanted to talk about them because i think they're really cute i have decided to talk about what i like if you saw in my last video we got a bookshelf to display all of our harry potter themed things i was just testing it out to see if nobby would jump on it or leave it alone so we didn't decorate it yet but we're definitely going to do that within the next few days so i'll probably make a video on that and our small collection at the moment i have these books and then a few different things from the wizarding world at universal so those are really cute to go on the shelf and then curtis wants to do a few diys to make it look super cute but if you made it to the end let me know what house you're in and i will see you on my next video bye